Everybody's out here trying to make these realistic AI avatars. But let's be real. Half of y'all think you need a fancy computer or some paid app. Nah, baby. I'm about to show you how to do it for free. Right from your phone. We talking skin looking real, lips moving, eyes blinking, all that. And when you're done, your avatar is going to look just like me. This that 2026 method everybody's whispering about. But I don't gatekeep. So sit tight, because I'm about to put you on, step by step. Free apps only. You ready? So first, we're going over to Google Gemini. If you haven't heard of this, you're missing out. What you're going to do is either put in a prompt or upload a picture of yourself or your avatar and either create or generate a whole new look for yourself. Click on create image with the banana and that will turn on the nano banana effect. Now what you're going to do is either upload an image or you're going to put in a prompt. I am going to create a whole new AI avatar just in case this is your first time creating one. Now, I already have my prompt. I put it in and I clicked generate. Look at her. Gorgeous. Yes. Okay. Now, once you have your AI avatar, you can save the image to your phone. But if there's something on her that you don't like, you can change it. All you have to do is put it in the prompt box. Something like make her shirt white and her hair curly. And then it will generate the same face, the same pose, and just change the things that you asked. Now look at her now. Ooh, this looks kind of cute. Okay, okay. All right, once you have the image, save it. But because it's not 16 by nine, which is YouTube's ratio, and you can't generate 16 by nine just by asking Gemini. Trust me, I've tried. So what I do is I take it over to my gallery in my phone where all my pictures are. And then I edit it in there. So I just use the crop and then I pick a ratio up at the top and then you scroll all the way until you see 16 by 9 and then you make sure her face is shown. Yes, I know it's not the whole picture, but I'm going to show you how you can get the whole picture in there with this easy step. Now you're going to take the 16 by 9 picture back over to Google Gemini and then you're going to paste in the prompt that you use to create her. And then you're going to click generate. And now it will generate the same exact picture, but in 16 by nine ratio. Here it is, the exact same picture in 16 by nine. <laughs> okay, listen, I don't gatekeep. If this is what you want, I've got you. I mean, why can't we all win? So your next step is to make her move. So typing, talking, hand gesturing. You're going to go over to this app called Robo Neo. It's free. So you can generate your video over here. What you're going to do is upload your image that you just created right there. And then you're going to put in a prompt of what you want her to do. Make sure in the beginning you put create me a 10 second video of this girl and then paste in your prompt. Now it only takes a couple seconds, but once it's done, this is the video you'll get. Look at her typing, looking occasionally. I love this video. She's so gorgeous. Okay, so once you're done and you got your video, you're going to click save up at the top. Then you're going to go over to this other app called Dreamface. You've probably heard of it. Yes, you can use it for free. And then you're going to click where it says avatar. I use this app and I couldn't even believe the results. Click on avatar and it will take you over to the avatar studio section. Girl, you are never going to believe how easy this is. Yes, I already did my avatar in here that you've seen in the beginning. Now what you're going to do is upload the video of your avatar that you just made. Then you're going to either import a voiceover, record a voiceover, or you can type something in and use one of the great voices they have on here. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the voices on here. So I'm just going to type in, hey, how's it going? Today, I'm showing you how to create a realistic AI avatar. And then I'm going to choose a voice. They have really great voices on here. You could use 11 labs and import a voice if you want, but I'm going to lose these voices on here. Once you're done and you've clicked a voice, you're going to make sure that it's on Dream Avatar 1.0 HD Animate Effect. And then it only takes a couple minutes to generate your hey, video. Today I'm showing you how to create a realistic AI avatar. 
Hey. And on me, she looks all bad. Okay, okay, okay. Now you can do this a couple times. You can make your avatar as long as you want. But if you want to add like her typing or maybe her cat in the back meowing or something like that, you can just take it over to this free video editor. And it's just like CapCut, it's called VN Editor, and you can add all that stuff on here. When you upload a video, make sure you take off their watermark so it's not at the end of your video. Then you're going to click the music note, and then you're going to click sound effects. Then you're going to click machine, and then you can find keyboard. So they have a couple here, maybe choose the longest one, I guess it depends how long. But just move it to the front and see how it doesn't take up the whole video, you're going to duplicate it and then you're going to put it next to the first one so that it will just cut off. And now you have that like that. Now make sure you turn down the keyboarding so it's not hey. so loud and then turn down the other one. Make sure you got them all turned down so now it doesn't override her talking and then it will look and sound like this. Hey, how's it going? Today, I'm showing you how to create a realistic AI avatar. Okay, listen, this is the trick I use to make my videos longer, my AI avatar videos. So what you're going to do is go back to VN Editor and upload the video before you added any voices or anything. It's just the movements. As you can see, she's not talking here. She's just moving. What you're going to do is click Duplicate. Now, you can't really notice it on this video, but other videos you create, you will see the little stubble interruption so what you're going to do is click the second video and then you're going to turn that video into reverse so you're going to click it and then at the bottom scroll and you'll see reverse now once it's reversed it will turn your video into something that looks like this so it looks more natural with her head turning and everything else but you can create it as long as you want all you have to do is keep clicking duplicate and reverse. So every second one's reverse, every first one's duplicate. And you just keep going as long as you want. After you're done creating your movement video, you can take the long video of however long you made it, let's say 20 seconds, and then you can add a voice to it. And that's it, baddies. Don't just scroll off, sis. Hit that like, subscribe, and keep it locked in with me. I'm dropping new tutorials, new looks, and all the free AI tricks they don't tell you about. Let's grow together.